Hello. If you are watching this film, your physician has decided that you would benefit from a radiofrequency ablation, commonly referred to as an RFA for a chronic pain condition. At this time, you will have received at least one or two diagnostic injections, known as facet blocks, which are used to determine where your pain is coming from and to temporarily block the affected nerves. Facet joints are the structures in the back of each vertebra that help allow movement of the spine. Over time, these joints are particularly prone to wear and tear, which cause the facet joint and surrounding nerves between each vertebra to become injured or inflamed. When this occurs, pain signals rapidly travel from the affected nerves to the brain and produce pain symptoms. It is these nerves that your doctor will target during your RFA procedure. This is the procedure room. You will receive a local anesthetic at the treatment site, along with mild sedation. X-rays will be used by your doctor to guide the radiofrequency needles to the targets. Once this is done, your doctor will then introduce an electrode into the needle. Once this is done, your doctor, using a radiofrequency generator, will send a small amount of energy through the needle tip in order to confirm its position. He will send radio waves using the generator through the needle that will produce heat that will burn the nerve and that over a few weeks time will stop the ability of the nerve to send pain signals to the brain. Although the RFA is designed to reduce pain, it is common to experience discomfort for a period of time after the procedure. The radio waves may temporarily inflame and aggravate the nerve tissue connected to the treated areas. This discomfort commonly reported to feel like a sunburn, can subside within a few days or last up to six weeks. It is also common to experience symptoms of muscle spasm as part of the body's natural effort to tighten the muscle and immobilize the irritated area. For some clients, the symptoms can be managed with over-the-counter pain medications. For others, Prescription pain medication may be used the first two weeks after the procedure. Ice is the first line of treatment to help reduce inflammation. If ice is ineffective, you may benefit from trialing heat to alleviate the potential for muscle spasms. Gentle stretching is also advised to promote circulation, prevent muscle spasms, and reduce overall soreness. In some cases, facet blocks, the same injections used prior to the RFA, may be performed to help decrease inflammation and pain symptoms. Although there are low incidences of side effects reported with the RFA, the most common include numbness, bruising, discomfort, and possible increased pain for up to six weeks after the procedure. If you experience any other side effects, it is best to call a nurse. So how long does your pain relief last? The RFA may not work for everyone. It may not provide 100% symptom relief, and the results do vary from client to client. Usually, significant relief lasts between six and 12 months, but has been known to last as little as two months to as long as two years. This procedure is not permanent and can be repeated if your pain returns but there are certainly ways you can prolong the benefits of the RFA procedure. Weight loss, strengthening of the back and stomach muscles, and staying active will all contribute to prolonged benefits and longer lasting spine health. There are no concrete limitations to your activities. However, the discomfort after the procedure may prevent you from immediately resuming all of your daily activities. It is recommended that one to two days be taken off from work following the procedure to promote rest and that you avoid scheduling the RFA procedure immediately before a major life event such as vacation or scheduled travel. 
The radiofrequency ablation is a procedure that has been around for decades and has helped numerous individuals manage their pain. The procedure is safe, minimally invasive, and provides proven benefits, including significant and longer lasting pain relief, increased functionality, lower use of pain medications, and improved quality of life.